and a little rough again. Um, got another review. You know, I decided to take a quick break from all the vlogs <laughs> that I've been doing. I've been doing quite a few, I must admit. Not that I don't enjoy them, I genuinely do. Um, and there is more to come, obviously. But um, I'm going to be taking a quick break just so I can do a few more reviews. Because I've got like beers there in the kitchen that, you know, I want to drink. And I want to document drinking them for future reference. And you can have a look at them as well if you want. I don't mind, trust me. Um, but yeah, uh, this one I'm going to do is Robinson's Ginger Tom from the Robinson's Brewery, which is based in Cheshire, I think. No, Stockport. Um, <laughs> close enough. Um, yeah, this, for, the, for those who don't know, Robinson's is the company that also does the Trooper beers. The you know, the Iron Maiden selection, you know, those ones. Yeah, Robinson's, they're pretty decent brewery. They do all kinds of stuff. He's done another one, um, Old Tom, which was like a, a, a really strong dark ale. And I reviewed that a um, few days ago. And that was, that was nice. That was nice. Uh, but, you know, it's a very strong one. It's got a very oily texture to it, you know. Very, a uh, bit of a licorice aftertaste as well. It was not bad at all. This time around I've got a ginger tom which is a it's a beer but it's got an infusion of Chinese bruised ginger root, botanical extracts and sweet pear juice. So that's a, it's a different one this. I'll uh, I'll read out the blurb for you. It's uh it's old tom is a legend among beers. First created by the Robinson family in 1899, it has won almost every brew and accolade going, including being voted World Best Ale several times. Now we've combined Old Tom's dark multi flavours with the special brew for an invigorating snappy ginger and peppery twist. Obviously it's specially brewed with the infusion of Chinese brew, uh, the, 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 the ginger, botanical extract, pear juice, and all that jazz. It has a delicious pairing warmth for those colder winter nights and a refreshing summer coolness and served over ice. Ginger Tom is best served with good music, vibrant people and optimism. Well, I mean, it's currently August and it's been pissing around for the last couple of days, so, uh, you know, I'd, 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 I'd assume that this Ginger Tom goes well in this weather, maybe. Um, well, yeah, what was it again at the last bit? Best served with good music, vibrant people, and optimism. Well, um, I, I don't want to be playing any music, you know, for like copyright reasons on YouTube. I get might get zapped or whatever. Um, and as far as vibrant people and optimism goes, well, the football season started again. Everton are playing in it, they've already lost the first game. I'm not optimistic at all, and there's no vibrancy at all. So yeah, good luck with all that shit. So yeah, I'll just uh, show you more of the bottle. So, yeah, here's, here's a nice picture of old Tom. Ginger, obviously. Um, there's a little outline of a cat, and some hops and all that. That's the neck. Uh, for all the bottle top lovers out there, is the Robinson's Brewery logo. Did you see that? Good. Okay. And obviously it's got Robinson's old Tom etched into the glasswork of the bottle, which I've always liked that. That just feels, feels quaint, you know. There's a charm to it. So yeah, let's put this in Zach Dingle first. And then shit the fucking bed. And then pop this off. There we go, just in case it decides to fizz up. Which it hasn't, so we're uh, doing all right there. So, let's throw in our glass shot. And it is very, very... It's not as dark as the last one. But it's dark no less. It's kind of like a sort of reddish, slightly amberish, well, a very dark amber. Yeah, it's very dark amber, with barely any head whatsoever, but I think that's just down to me pouring that a bit, sort of, 
shit. It, you could probably get a bigger head on that if you had more balls to play with and a better paw to start off with. So yeah, it, 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 is, it is what it looks like anyway. So yeah, that's our sniff show. Ginger infusion, it's there. You can smell it straight a friggin' way. Yeah, not getting the pear juice though, the botanical extracts, whatever. But no, it's, it, it is definitely quite peppery, and definitely quite. Yeah, it's quite ginger. It's so ginger that it's. Jerry Haller, well. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we know what it looks like. We know what it smells like. But what about the taste? Will it be Ginger Tom? Or will it be um, fucking white as boiled shite? Which is what I look like whenever I don't go out in the sunlight. So I think one way to find out, bottoms up and up your bottoms, here we go. Ooh. That's a unique one. That is a unique one. I've never had anything like this before. Not saying I don't like it, I'm just saying I definitely never had anything like this before. Now, remember when I said about the um, the peppery infusion? Slight towards the end, very slight. The ginger is very strong to the point where this just tastes like one of those ginger ales that you buy in Asda. However, the pear juice infusion that was mentioned on the bottle that's there you can taste it cannot smell it at all but it is there on the tongue and it's still there it's, yeah it's not bad at all mm. Mm. mouth feels okay as well Still tickling it, tip of my tongue, getting a bit sort of stimulated a bit. And feel it, it's good. And um, oh, and by the way, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, it's a 330 milliliter bottle, and it's only spell it, I say only 6%, it's 6%. So yeah, this isn't this isn't a can of fossils, that's such a dog, I thought we'd ever review that. I mean, I, I, I know this isn't the classiest channel on YouTube, but even not even I'm that bad. Not even I won't plunge to them depths. So yeah, that was uh, that was not bad. Was not bad at all. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd I'd recommend this. If I mean I would recommend it, but who do you recommend this to? I mean it'd have to be to a connoisseur, you know, like one of those VLAO connoisseurs, because you're not gonna recommend it to a sort of just to someone who's just like wants a, a little sesh beer or whatever, it's not for them because obviously it's, it tastes like ginger ale. It doesn't taste like a beer in the traditional sense of the word. It tastes like a ginger ale with a couple of little mad infusions of pitch you see it in the, you know, it's uh, it's one for the real ale twats as they get called. But yeah. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with being one of those people. There isn't. There's everything right with being, you know. You know where the good shit is. Remember that. But yeah, I, I've enjoyed this. It's, uh, it's different. It's different, but it's nice no less. It's a nice little 6% 
This is it's basically an alcoholic ginger with a little few extra little augmentations just tossed in there just for the for the palate. Yeah, it's nice. Um, would I recommend it? Yes and no. I'd recommend it for those who want to try something that's a little bit out there, you know, a little bit experimental, a little bit prog rock, you know. If, if you like your if, if you like your beers in the same way you like the music of Yes or I don't know Tangerine Dream, then this might be for you. But if you just want to go to some fucking walkabout and just have a few pints, don't touch this because you're gonna be like, what the fuck? That's what you're gonna be like. You know, like, well, this this this. This doesn't taste like San Miguel, because it doesn't. It's not like San Miguel. It's completely different. And with that being said, that can come can 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 of Coke, can of Pepsi, can can. Can you hear the missus sing? No, no. Um, yeah, that concludes the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've kind of rambled a bit because I'm a little bit sleepy. You know? I'm not drunk. This is the first actual of alcohol I've had tonight. I'm just a little bit sleepy because I got like a bit of a disturbed sleep. It's one of them, like you know, where you're trying to lie there in bed and have a good deep sleep, and then a fucking Yorkshire Terry decides to wake you up at three in the morning and six in the morning, just wanting a pee. And the six in the morning one, she didn't even fucking go out. She just sort of stood at the door and then just walked away back into the house. <laughs> yeah, that happens. So yeah, that, that's why if I appear a bit sort of zoned out a bit, that's why. It's the dog's fault. Thanks, Fluff. <laughs> Nonetheless, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, and there'll be more to come. Signing out, everyone. Sorry, signing out. Take care, everyone.